Hello friends, welcome to Machine to Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about the tax calculation configuration and how Magento will do that. For that, you have to go to Stores. Click on this configuration. Below you see the Sales tab. Click on it. Click on this tax. So what is the tax class? In this section, we have three options. Tax class for shipping, default tax class for product, default tax class for customer. So in this video, I will discuss about this tax class for shipping. In the previous video, we have already discussed uh, about this product. Okay, so now what is this tax class for shipping? Whatever we have created for the product, the same will be applicable because it will share uh, the same tax class for the shipping also. You see here we have two options none non taxable goods the same class we'll see for the shipping also okay coming to this default tax class for customers uh, we will not discuss about this i will discuss this when we discuss about the customer management tutorial okay also some sections i will discuss when it is needed okay now go to calculation settings here you will see this tax calculation method based on here you will find three options unit price row total total okay now go to front end okay. in the right side you see here summary section in this we have country state zip shipping methods and total section in the last video we have seen that based on country state zip code uh, the tax will change so what is the subtotal of this 45.20 Magento will round up this value and the final value will become as 46 now the tax will be applied on this 46 dollars okay but you have to consider one more point here is the shipping in the configuration you have selected this tax class for shipping as taxable goods okay if you select this one Magento will calculate uh, the subtotal along with this uh, shipping and will give you the result of the tax. Okay, how this calculation will be? There is one formula to easily calculate the taxes. Go to store, click on this tax zones. In the tax zones and rates, you will find this country state which I have selected in the shopping cart. Okay. Now what is the rate here? Rate here I have added 8. 8 means 8%. Okay. Now calculate this value. 45.20 plus 10 which is the shipping value. Now multiply with tax rate. What is the tax rate? 8% divided by 100. What is the tax I got 4.416 here 4.42 so if you round up this one six you will get 4.420 okay 4.420 this one right this way you can calculate uh, the tax okay based on some conditions you do the same configuration you okay this way you can add the tax for the product Remaining, I will discuss whenever needed. Now, coming to the default tax calculation, here you can select the default country state uh, zip code, which will uh, helpful for customers to see the default tax in the front end. You can add the default tax to the country or state you selected. In the previous video, we have discussed about this uh, price display settings. Uh, in that, we discussed about uh, display product prices in catalog. It is the similar thing for the shipping also. So whatever the options you have seen in the catalog section, the same options for the uh, display shipping prices also. Okay. The main difference is it will apply on the catalog, but it will apply on the shipping. Okay. Remaining everything is same. Now these two options you see here: shopping cart display settings, order invoice, credit memo display settings. Both are same. Both are for display purpose how the customer will see that in the shopping cart and how the customer see in the emails. Now coming to the fixed product taxes, we should enable this when your website have any specific price 
uh, you should apply to specific products. For example, if you want to use the fixed product price tags and you want to apply tags for specific product, you have to create one attribute. Okay. For that, go to attribute section, which is in stores product. Click on this one. You see here, if you have this attribute, no issue. If you don't have an attribute, click on this add new attribute. You have to fill this information label and you have to select this uh, input values then change that text field to fix a product tax save this value okay then you have to go to the store attribute set to apply the tax to specific product take one product right now i have added this radiant t i'm just taking this product copy the name go to product search for this product you see here radiant t just open this one. Now you have to check the attribute set. Whatever the attribute I have created here, we have to add that in the attribute set section. In my case, it is assigned to top. Go to this uh, attribute sets. You see here top. Click on this one. In the right side, you will see some uh, unassigned attributes, right? In that, you will find this FTP. Just drag this one, add in the product details or whatever the section you need. Right now, I'm just adding to the top. Let's save this product. Okay, now go to the same product, refresh the page. So you see something like uh, fix a product tax section. Okay, here you will find country state tax. Okay, just click on add. You can select country. Whichever the country you need select state i'm just putting from start because uh, it will apply to all the states okay now what is the tax rate it is a percent okay you can put uh, any value but up to 100 percent okay just save this product so if you want to apply any tax for a specific product you can do something like this okay i will discuss this customer tax class uh, in the later tutorials while we discussed about this customer section okay